part five of the section, The Fight in Kindred, at the Whalen Plantation, Carrie and Nigel recognize Dana. But if Tom Whalen recognizes her, he doesn't mention it on the wagon ride back to where Rufus waits in the woods. Nigel, now an adult, hoists Rufus onto the wagon. Rufus promises he won't tell anyone about Isaac beating him. Back at the house, Tom Whalen shoves a lamp in Dana's face and says, you're the same one, all right. He demands to know who and what Dana is, but Dana can't say without sounding crazy. So she asks about Kevin instead. He offers Dana a place to stay as long as she agrees to work. Dana accepts his offer, thinking that Kevin may return looking for her. In part six, Dana nurses Rufus, giving him aspirin from her bag to break his fever. Margaret Whalen, after suffering a breakdown from losing her twin infants, has gone to stay with her sister in Baltimore City. Luke has been sold to a master in New Orleans. Dana considers how difficult escaping to the North would be from New Orleans, and the idea of it frightens her enough to burn her history book when Rufus requests she do so. Rufus gives Dana Kevin's letters from the North. Writing back to him almost brings her to tears. Rufus agrees to mail a letter from Dana to Kevin if she burns her map of Maryland. He says he can't protect her if his daddy finds the map, as he will think she intends to use it to escape. Dana reluctantly burns the map in the fireplace in Rufus's bedroom. In part seven, Rufus and Nigel take the wagon into the nearest town to mail Dana's letter to Kevin. But Rufus's true purpose is to buy Alice, who's been caught with Isaac. Dana is in Rufus's room when she hears him yelling for her to come downstairs and help Alice, who's been beaten, whipped, and bitten by dogs. Rufus orders Dana to save her. He has spent all the money he has to buy Alice, and his father won't pay for a doctor to aid slaves. In part eight, after taking care of Alice, Dana goes up to the attic where she sleeps. Dana agonizes over how unjust it is that Rufus has caused all of Alice's troubles, but will end up getting exactly what he wants. Sarah comes to the attic and tells Dana that the white men who went after Isaac cut off his ears because he fought back when they captured him. Thinking Dana and Rufus are lovers, Sarah asks what will happen to Dana now that Alice is here. Dana assures Sarah that this is not the nature of her relationship with Rufus and that she is content with her husband, Kevin. Sarah tells Dana to ask Nigel whether he really mailed the letter to Kevin because Rufus lies sometimes.